Alright, what's going on guys, it's Ress, and in this video I'm actually going to be going over a build for the Pyromancer that's going to be based all around increasing your thermal bomb damage and just making it absurd. But you may be thinking to yourself, well Ress, how are you already going over a build and the demo's out? And that is actually because of this website I'm on right now that has their full skill trees accessible and you have class points to actually put in here so if you guys want to make builds for yourself i will link this in the description of the video and you can go tinker and mess around with whatever you want to now this is personally the build i'm going to be going for when the game first launches as i want to make my thermal bomb and just my abilities be able to kill everything so this is 100 what i'm going to be trying out first now this could obviously when the game launches be absolutely terrible so if you look at this later once the game launches just know that i'll probably have an updated build of this out you know changing some stuff around if need be but if you do enjoy it find this video helpful in any way consider subscribing and dropping a like it's free it really helps me out and i truly appreciate it but starting off i'm going to be going down the tempest right here because this is the one that's based all around anomaly power which increases your skill damage and your melee damage i'm pretty sure we have 20 points so one point is going to be going arc mage which gives you six percent more anomaly power because if you don't know the pyromancer actually has a 10 percent anomaly power base increase because it, they're the power mancer and they're really focused on skills this is going to give you get you up to 16 percent anomaly power which is really really good now since we're going to be doing thermal bombs a lot world of blaze is going to be in my next skill i'm going to take which is 15 percent skill cooldown on explosive skills so now our thermal bomb is going to have a 10.2 second cooldown which is normally 12 seconds which is really really good then I'm going to be doing another arc mage which gives you six percent more anomaly power which is again going to increase your skill damage and we're actually going to be taking our first skill right here where activating an explosive skill increases your weapon damage by 45 percent not only is this going to be a build that really focuses on your skills you're also going to have weapon damage coming out of this as well which is going to be nice because what i'm hoping for is that there's going to be a legendary weapon that increases your school cooldowns when you get a kill or something like that essentially so we can have a even faster cooldown on our skills now for the next one i'm taking strength of the flame right here minus 10 percent damage taken from elites this is going to be a nice thing for survivability since you're not going to have much for this now everything thing i want you to take marks accumulation to get 10 percent more skill damage against mark targets because i'm not really going to mark targets with this i'm seriously just trying to focus on making the skills itself kill everything when you pop it i'm not trying to mark something first then you know have the skill kill them but like i said this could completely change you know with some gear or something that comes out when the full game launches this is just what i'm going for for what we know right now we're going to take another arc mage right here which increases our anomaly power by six percent then i'm going to take inferno bullets right here where we increase our firepower by 15 percent of our anomaly power so as you can already tell we're increasing our anomaly power by a lot this is going to be a nice skill to have to increase your firepower a little bit and since we're really focusing on this anomaly power itself we're going to have a lot of damage coming out of the skill plus we're going to have more damage whenever we activate our skills as well so really really good now i'm going to be taking gifted which is going to increase our weapon damage and anomaly power even more really good for what we were just talking about then arc mage again for more anomaly power but then our next skill activating explosive skills increases anomaly power by 12 percent for 10 seconds so again now when we use our thermal bomb which is really what we're going for we're going to get a 45 percent damage increase right here then thanks to our skill right here giving us more firepower for our anomaly power we're going to have even more coming out of this skill plus this is also just going to make your thermal bomb do more damage as well then i'm going to take master of resistance right here so we get 20 percent resistance then another arc mage which is more damage then we're going to be taking phoenix upon losing all health you will receive a second chance to return to the battlefield with 50 percent maximum health so as you can see this is a very skill and weapon damage focused build so this is going to be our survivability option you're going to be trying to take cover just spam a thermal bombs behind cover with this build but if you do die you're going to immediately come back to life which is really really good and on top of that your thermal bombs are also going to be killing everybody which is going to heal you with the healing mechanic of the pyromancer now we're taking a conflagration right here which is going to give you 15 percent resistance piercing and we're actually going to be skipping on chase the chill away since we have phoenix and we're going to be going into flames that burn twice we get 10 percent more damage against the elites which is nice then water blaze which is going to give us even more cooldown to our thermal bomb bringing it to 8.4 seconds now and then grave ablaze where we get 30 percent more explosive skill damage so now our thermal bomb is going to be doing even more damage now since we have three points left over i'm going to be going to gift it right here which is going to give us another weapon damage increase on top of our anomaly power increase and take wildfire so now all our skills are going to get more cooldown specifically the explosive skill is going to get another 10 percent which makes our thermal bomb go to a 7.2 second cooldown and this is just from the skill tree alone but then since we have one point left over i'm actually going to put it in phoenix right here which is going to buff phoenix nestling so if we do die we're actually going to have 100 percent maximum health when we come back instead of 50 percent 
but that is the skill tree itself right here if you take a look at the stats we have 50 percent of knowledge power and that's like i said this is just from the skill tree this is not from any gear or mods or anything 10 percent damage against elites minus 10 percent from elites 20 percent resistance 15 percent resistance piercing 40 percent explosive skill cooldown which is just crazy 10 percent skill cooldown for ignite and immobilize 10 percent weapon damage and then 30 percent more skill explosive damage really really good now like I said, 7.2 second thermal bomb cooldown. We already know we can get gear that gives you two charges before it goes on cooldown. So you can spam thermal bombs like crazy. And you could possibly even get gear that'll make this cooldown even shorter. So we're going to be doing a ton of damage with it and spamming them. Now, I also have another treat for you guys. If you thought that was already crazy, let me actually show you this right here. This is a legendary set specifically for what I'm going for. So we have the helmet right here, which I'm going to go over the mods. We have double the fun thermal bomb skill can affect two targets so what i'm assuming from this is your thermal bomb is either going to split you know have two come out and hit two enemies or it's going to hit an enemy then basically it's just going to go hit another enemy you're essentially just going to have two thermal bombs with one charge then if you have that mod where you can do that twice you'll have four thermal bombs on a seven second cooldown which is just crazy then you also have big boom where thermal bomb has an increased explosive radius so now when you kill an enemy with thermal bomb they're going to blow up at an even larger radius to kill more enemies then if you take a look at the set bonus you have all of these armor pieces on you're going to get increased feed to flame damage and thermal bomb damage by 50 percent so if you remember we actually had a skill that increased about 30 percent now we're going to have another 50 percent increase in damage on top of all of our anomaly power getting increased as well now going over here to the chest piece we have branded thermal bomb enemies affected by a skill receive 40 percent more damage so if you remember when we pop our explosive skill we're going to be getting a lot of weapon damage as well the thermal bomb is going to hit them. You're going to kill that enemy since and brand it is going to let you do even more damage to that enemy. And then they're going to explode and kill everything. Then bullet absorption and feed the flames replenishes 20% of your ammo and your magazine every time an enemy is affected by the skill. This is also really good because feed the flames is the skill that just hits everything. So this is just going to instantly refill your magazine, pretty much anything you're using. So if you, you know, you can shoot, then hit this and reload the magazine but now you also can change the mods so if you don't want that you can change this to something like i was talking about have two thermal bomb charges and you can replace that to make your thermal bomb even more ridiculous then going down here to the pants we have flame grasper feed the flames enables absorption of two additional targets these are kind of whatever but i'm pretty sure you also can change this as well if you want to but then we also have wildfire thermal bomb the skill inflicts burn on every enemy damage by the explosion this is also kind of whatever the pants are definitely the lacking of this armor set but you have to wear it to get the bonus right here for 50 percent more damage we're really playing for our thermal bomb to just kill everything and we don't really want to apply burns to enemies because the thermal bomb is going to kill everything and you know flame grasper is decent but you know you know if you're going for pure thermal bomb you probably want something for that but now getting into the boots we have power assimilation which boosts your not only power by 192 for each elite present on the battlefield you know obviously if you're looking at the demo this probably doesn't seem that good but if you play diablo you know once you get into these higher world tiers they're going to be elites everywhere so you're going to have your anomaly power increased by a lot and when you're around elites you're going to be obliterating these things with this it's going to be really really crazy then you also have nova right here the feed the flames increase the skills range by 100 again you know if you want to change that out you can to do something with thermal bombs so that is pretty much it for the build like i said obviously this is just theory crafting you know this could completely change when the demo comes out they could change this armor set they could change some way the skill works but you know this is what i'm going off of right now i love making builds even when it's theory crafting and i don't really have you know anything to go off of but if you guys would like to see more of this or some other characters definitely be sure to stick around because i'm sure i'll be doing that you know drop a comment leave a like if you want me to because i would love to go over the other classes and not only that just go over the other skill trees on the pyromancer and make different types of builds for it i hope this actually showed that some of the classes that are weak right now specifically the pyromancer is actually going to be somewhat strong when the game fully launches so if you plan on maining something like the power or technomancer definitely know that these are going to get better once the full game comes out specifically looking at this build it's going to be crazy and your thermal bombs are just going to blow the entire map up but that's going to do it all for me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace